Thank you. How we doing tonight, everybody? Huh? You look good. You're looking good. It's Saturday night. We're out and about. You're in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. I got to tell you, I recently had the greatest day of my life. I got divorced. Yeah. And uh, it's not such a big deal. It doesn't matter to me because when you look around, everybody nowadays is divorced. And I think the problem is, is I don't blame morals or values or religion or any of that bullshit. I blame Hollywood. Because Hollywood has given us an unfair idea about love and marriage and what it actually is. All of those romantic comedies and the made for TV bullshit. It's not real. It's lighting. It's music. It's Tom Cruise. All of those catchphrases, they're bullshit too. If you walked up to your lady right now and said, honey, you complete me. She would look you right in the face and say, I wish you would complete some, you lazy sack of shit. Does everything in that house need to be completed? <laughs> it's not real. It's not real, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's, I'll tell you what it is. You know, what, what it really is, is, is your man is not gonna stop a big meeting and come up and tell you he loves you. He's not gonna run down into the middle of the Super Bowl in front of a packed stadium to tell you he is sorry. Do you know what real love is? Love is a woman. Nine o'clock in the morning, sitting on the turf, pushing out the last remains of last night's Buffalo Wild Wings and then the door flies open. <laughs> and he looks at her and he's got a roll of shaman in his hand. <laughs> and he says, baby, I took this out of the other bathroom because I knew you needed it. And she looks up at him and she's got sweat beating down her forehead and she says, I fucking love you, honey. And he says, and I love you too, honey. Hollywood, that is the movie I want to see. That is the movie I want to see. Show me Ryan Gosling professing his love to Emma Stone while she is pitching the biggest loaf of her career. You may think it's disgusting, but I would pay fourteen fifty to see that on IMAX. But uh, thank you very much. You go to IMAX too, I appreciate it. Uh, but divorce isn't so bad. It's not so bad, I don't mind. Uh, it is the greatest diet I have ever been on. If you don't believe me, I challenge you to try it. Because as I am standing here in front of you, I can tell you that I have lost 300 pounds. 50 pounds at my wife. <laughs> what are you booing me for? You should be excited. I lost 50 pounds. Uh, but no, I love her. I love her. I used to love her. She is the mother of my kids, and I do have to give her that. And child support. $600 a month. <laughs> But it's crazy out there, guys. It is crazy out there right now. Uh, I don't want to go outside. You can't go outside. And I have to because I started dating again. But you, you're afraid to go outside. You can't go to a concert. You can't go to a movie. People are out there dying from lettuce. Have you seen this? People are out there dying from lettuce. And I got to tell you, finally, my avoidance of salads has paid off. <laughs> This no salad body's gonna be all arranged this summer, I will tell you that right now. And uh, the other problem is, I don't know, uh, it's a little awkward in here, so I'm just gonna put it out there. As you can see, I am bald, and that is tough. Uh, but, the other day, on Facebook, I read an article that it said, in 2018, women now find bald men attractive even sex. And you have to admit, I got a little, thank you very much for the whistle, Tommy, I appreciate it. Uh, you gotta admit, it's very exciting for me because when I went bald 20 years ago when I was 18, it was not attractive, it was creepy. So I figured I'd click on the article. And before I even read it, there were pictures above the article. There was a picture of Jason Statham, Vic Diesel, these guys like that, and I said to myself, Women don't find bald men attractive. Men, women find hot men who shave their heads attractive. <laughs> Let me tell you something. 
If they are looking at pictures of Jason Statham and Vin Diesel, I can tell you there's not a woman in this world that is masturbating right now to a picture of Danny DeVito, okay? <laughs> and let's cut the bullshit. Let us cut the bullshit. Shaving your head is not bold. It is a hairstyle, okay? I like the way it feels. Don't give me that bullshit. Because there if there's a man in this world that is shaving his head with a full head of hair, you are a jerk off, my friend. Because any man with a beautiful head of hair who shaves it, it's like a guy with a really big cock cutting out the middle and going, and of course I like the way it feels. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what's it about? It's about being happy. It's about enjoying yourself. It's about living the life. And before I get off the stage, I would like to tell you one thing. If there is a woman out there right now who is in fact thinking about masturbating to a picture of Danny DeVito, I'm out of here. Good night, everybody.